Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm here to share my latest design team project for Artie Mays. And uh, I made a traveler's notebook for the current kit that she has and it is called Back to Nature. It is such an awesome kit. I think if you guys haven't seen it already and you um, check it out after my video, I will put all the links below for everything I've used you guys will just need to buy it. I, I think everyone that's seen it really wants to have this kit. Um, I'm also going to be uh, using some of Jane Nine Scraps items. She's also on Etsy and there are some new items in her shop that I'll be sharing with you guys as well. So you can see a little bit chunkiness that my uh, traveler's notebook turned out to be, but everything is removable or at least the majority of things so that it can be flat um, for journaling, etc. So let me take you in. This is a um, five-fold pamphlet stitch, and it is the cover, um, Tim Holtz. I loved how this cover went with the kit. So let me take you inside. The front pocket is the J9 Scraps library pocket. And what I've done with some of the papers as well is I, I've sprayed them with um, a little bit of brown uh, staining instead of coffee dyeing them. And so this is the library card and library pocket. And this here is an add-on for the Back to Nature kit. And what I did with this one is I just backed it with coffee stained paper. Now the majority of the pages in this traveler's notebook is are coffee stained, but um, whatever has not been coffee stained, I have sprayed so that it matches. The inside here has one of the, the tickets that come with the add-on. And that's just for extra journaling. And then the glassine envelope here is uh, Jane and Scraps. I just tucked it in for them. I made a bookmark with um, one of these feathers. I actually have this um, magazine. I, I actually shared a little flip through um, with you guys. And I used one of the feathers from the kit because I thought it went well. And then this was... Um, additional pieces from the kit that didn't print out properly but I still use them so it's a tuck spot on this end I just thought it went really well this here is um, vellum paper that I also thought went well with the kit because it's nature themed and it's got some leaves and some flowers there so for the kit that Andrea has designed I absolutely love it because she designed it for the purpose of writing on it stamping on it or just doing stuff on top of it and I thought that was just so brilliant so like I said I'm just so in love with the kit each page that is a digital kit page has a tuck spot on the other side I just um, made a paper clip with ribbons and some just some little fabric pieces there because I thought the um, colors went so well with it as you can see and then this is part of the add-on for the kit and I've also used some other additional pieces from Artie Mace's um, different kits, but uh, just kind of sprinkled that throughout. Gina and Scraps. I've just sprayed that. And then this here is uh, a page with one of the envelopes. And as I said, I left a lot of things removable because I know journaling is uh, so important in these things and I wanted to have some space. This is a stamp that I've been using um, recently and I love it ducks and a pond bridge and so I thought it went well with the kit as well I did just a little bit of tracing and brown here that's one of the images and this is a J9 scraps time card also I sprayed that and then this is another piece of the add-on the other side of the envelope again I just tuck that there to be removed Let me show you inside it has a really cute journaling card. This is uh, the newest uh, bags in J9 Scraps uh, Etsy store. It's a trellis bag. She also has a polka dot bag. So I thought it went so well because it's so neutral. And I didn't coffee stain it, but I'm sure it would look even more amazing if it was. Look at that. It already has some of the, um, almost like it's been scribbled on and stuff. So I just, oh, I just totally adore this kit. And then here, what I did is, these are the um, journaling tags, and I just kept them together, and just 
put them over there. I made a book page pocket and then just tucked in a little piece of the kit that I cut up. And then this is a fabric little belly band. So here we go, it's another envelope piece. And I did um, stain that a little bit as well. Oh, and this was supposed to be in here, but this is one of the add-ons as well. Don't say I wish, say I will. Love that. Love it. So here's the center of the signature. Again, you can do whatever, so much with that. And I made a pocket here with the um, Edith Holden book. And this is part of the kit as well. This is from another kit, but I thought it went well. It, again, it just made a little tuck spot here. The other side of the book page pocket. And then this is the other piece of journaling card. Look at the images. I did also a bit of stenciling on uh, the pages as well as the spring. And then the other side of the, um, the bag, I just folded it over to make a little tuck spot there and that's just more journaling space. And then here at the top, I just added one of the giant tags. And this is a layaway tag from J9 Scraps. And these ones you can um, cut up in the perforated lines and use them separately or just keep them together. Look at that coffee stain. The other side of the time card. And then this is the other part of that vintagey paper that I, that I have that's, um, I just kind of did a little bit of um, tracing on it. And this is just tucked with the, an envelope again. And I kept these tags together for journaling on the back. And then this piece here, it's also more journaling space. And then this is the newest layaway envelope in uh, Jane and Scraps Etsy shop. I love the color, the pocket there. And then again, perforations that you can cut up or keep together. Just thought that went really well with the kit. And it's so neutral, it can go with anything. And then here's the other side of that vellum. I don't know if you can see the, the flower and stuff on it. I thought it's just perfect for this. And then on the back here, I just did a little tuck spot. And then this is more of the tickets. And then the back has uh, an envelope, um, glassine envelope, J9 scraps, and just put a little bit more journaling space there. And then this is another one of the um, journaling cards that are add-ons for the kids. I just back them again with coffee stain paper. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me really appreciate it all the information will be below if you have any questions I will put all the links to the shops uh, thank you again for um, sharing this with me and I will see you guys shortly because I'll probably be making a lot more things with this kit bye